This has been a long time coming. I'm about to talk to you guys about one piece of design that has had significant impact on my life, my well-being and my creativity. I've been meaning to talk about this since 2013, but I just didn't have the resources to get it done. But um, I feel like it's the perfect time to talk about it because people are working from home, they're spending more time indoors. So I feel like it's the right time to talk about this piece of design. Let me take you guys back, back to where it all started. So I was in university, I was studying graphic communication and I was starting to become really aware of my environment and my space and how it affects my creativity and my well-being. So I would go back to my house and I always felt like my room just wasn't accommodating my design work. So I started to do some research, I bought a few books and there's this one book that I read called Getting Things Done, How to Achieve Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. And in that book, there's a whole chapter dedicated to your workspace and tools needed for your, for your work. And it's basically little improvements and little improvements that you can make in your space and the tools that you should, and the tools that you should invest in for, for your job. I always felt like a chair was one of the most important things as a designer. At the same time, I was following this designer in New York called Jeff Staple. He was like my design inspiration and my go-to source for anything design related from music to clothing to, to furniture. So I reached out to him on Twitter and I was like, hey Jeff, um, I'm looking for an office chair. Is there anything you can recommend? He recommended two chairs, the Don Chadwick chair and the Herman Miller Aeron chair. Obviously, I had no idea what both of these chairs were. So I researched Herman Miller Aeron chair. A thousand pound, man. I was a student and I see a chair for a thousand pound. I'm like, yo, man, this guy got, this guy got money, you know? So I was a bit like, but at the same time, I was open to the idea. I was like, yo, this guy's a successful designer. I look up to him. Maybe, you know, I, try, I tried to make it make sense. So I was always open to the idea. So what I'd done, I'd done some research into the chair and the more research I'd done, the more I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the story, the process, the design. This chair was basically a design icon. Let me tell you guys the story of the Aeron chair. So the chair was designed by two guys, Bill Stump and Don Chadwick. They originally designed a chair for Herman Miller, which was aimed at elderly folks spending long periods of time sitting down. But Herman Miller scrapped the project. So the designers, they took all their research and reinvented it and modernized it for the office world. They created a chair called the Aeron. This was a completely revolutionary chair. It used a new fabric called Pellicle. It had lumbar support, adjustable arms, inclusive sizing. Obviously, there's a bunch of features that I can reel off, but there's a load of YouTube videos. You guys can go watch for that. This was a completely different chair. At the time, chairs were big, they were bulky. They used a lot of foam, a lot of leather. Especially at that price point of a thousand pound, people wanted to see a big leather chair. But these designers, they wanted to change people's perception on what a chair looks like. In 1994, they released the chair. Boom. One guy at an advertisement agency bought more than a dozen of the chairs, which got him on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Then all the Silicon Valley CEOs were buying it. The chair was on TV shows. It basically become a pop icon. Going back to my uni story, as a student, a thousand pound on a chair was still really expensive, but I started to think, I was like, how long am I going to spend on a chair? Probably around 80%, 80% of my time designing. So how important is the chair in my life? Pretty important, right? So I saved up my grants. I had the money for the chair. I had a conversation with my uni friends. I was like, oh guys, I'm going to buy this chair for a thousand pound. They were like, oh, this guy is crazy. Why is he buying a chair for a thousand pound? I was like, oh man, these, these guys, they just don't get it. So boom, I bought the chair. I bought the chair, what, in 2000, 2014, I bought the chair. It's 2021 now. I've had the chair for seven years. And the chair, the chair has done so much for me. All the iconic pieces of design that I've created, 
I've created on the Aeron chair. It's become part of my identity. It's become a part of me. It's gone into the work that I've done. And all my uni friends at the time that were like, oh, you shouldn't buy it. They all got back problems and they're all going to the chiropractor. Some have even bought the Aeron chair. It really is an investment for someone who's creative and spends a lot of time sitting down. If you're a fashion designer, if you're a graphic designer, if you're a musician, if you're a videographer who spends a lot of time editing, you need a chair that feeds into your work. I've had so many friends from all over the world buy the Aeron chair from the conversations that we've had. They've seen what the chair has done for me, what it can do for them, and just the longevity of good design. I've always been trying to convince people about the impact of good design and how it can improve their life. Since my profile has been rising and I've moved into this studio, I've brought all these design classics into one space where people of Cardiff can firsthand experience them. I've had clients and friends visit the studio, sit on the Aeron chair for hours and be like, whoa, I didn't even know I was sitting on a chair. That's what good design is. It's unobtrusive and it serves its purpose. Seven years and I've never questioned the chair. This is why people at the height of their careers, at the height of their creativity, all use the Aeron chair. Jay-Z, Drake, Dr. Dre, all the great creatives and CEOs all sit on the Aeron chair. Now guys, I'm not saying go out there and spend a thousand pound on a chair. All I'm saying is think about the items that you interact with on a day to day basis. Think about your career, think about your future. And if you're going to spend most of your time sitting down, maybe buy the Aeron chair. All I'm saying is invest in yourself.